People sometimes talk about that eureka moment when something occurs to them and a great discovery is made. And it's called a moment because it seems like it happens instantly. But if you spend years working on something before that moment, well, did it really happen instantly at all or was it a discovery years in the making? History is full of examples of discoveries that took an incredibly long time, some might argue too long to make. 75 years later. In some cases, these discoveries took decades. Number 10. The Mystery of Bobby Dunbar Bobby Dunbar disappeared in the summer of 1912 when he was just four years old. His family had gone camping in Louisiana, and the boy wandered off in the night sometime. At first, it was assumed he'd drowned in the lake, but his hat was later found much further away. Suddenly, the idea that he had been kidnapped came to mind. What started as a tragic tale soon became more and more bizarre. Nearly a year later, a drifter traveling with a young boy in Mississippi was arrested. The boy was about Bobby's age, and the man's story made no sense. He said he'd been traveling with the boy for a year, but his mother, Julia Anderson had given permission. Anderson agreed, but she said that it had just been for a few days. The Dunbar family went to see the boy, and accounts of whether the boy recognized them vary. But finally, Mrs. Dunbar identified the boy as Bobby based on some moles, and a court agreed. The Dunbars took custody of the boy and returned home. Suspicious that things were hinky, a newspaper paid to bring Anderson to town. She was shown Bobby and four other boys of the same age. She couldn't identify the one that was supposedly her son, and none recognized her. The next day, she was able to identify him, but by then it was too late, and she went home alone. Bobby Dunbar was raised by his parents, became a man, and had a family of his own, and died in 1966. Years later, the granddaughters of Dunbar, Anderson, met up to put the story to rest. Through DNA testing, they were able to confirm Bobby Dunbar was not actually Bobby Dunbar at all. He really had been the son of Julia Anderson, and the real Bobby Dunbar had never been found. Number 9. A missing ring turned up after 47 years Losing a ring is not all that uncommon of an event. People lose jewelry all the time, and it has to be upsetting in the moment, but you eventually get over it. Deborah McKenna no doubt got over losing her class ring in a main department store back in 1973 when she'd taken it off to wash her hands and forgotten about it by mistake. Since it was just a class ring and not something like an engagement ring, though the man she eventually married gave it to her, she probably never thought about it again until 2020. The ring showed up in the mail in 2020 after it was found by a man named Marco Saarinen. Saarinen didn't find it in that department store, nor did he find it in Maine. He was using a metal detector in a forest near a town called Carina in southwest Finland. The man read the inscription, SM, and looked up the school's alumni association. They tracked down the owner and his wife and got the ring back to its rightful owner. Number 8. The Greatest Ball Game of All Time The 1960s World Series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the New York Yankees has been called the greatest World Series of all time. The Yankees were seen as the dominant powerhouse team, but the Pirates took them all the way to Game 7 when Bill Mazeroski of the Pirates hit a game-winning home run in the ninth inning to take the series. It was the first time a series had been won with a home run. It was an incredible upset, and it was down to the wire. It was everything sports fans love, and it seemed like it was lost. For years, there were no tapes whatsoever of that final game. VCRs didn't exist in 1960, so fans were not recording it at home. TV stations reused tapes back in the day, so all games from before the 1970s have been erased. Fortunately, no one had accounted for how big of a baseball fan Bing Crosby was. Crosby, who was part owner of the Pirates, was afraid to watch the game live. He thought it jinxed their chances. Instead, he went to Europe and had the game recorded so he could watch it later. Then he stored the tape in his wine cellar, where the precise temperature and humidity perfectly preserved it until 2010 when it was discovered again. The game was restored and transferred to DVD and can now be watched by fans once more. Number 7. The De-Extinction of the Lord Howe Stick Insect Species go extinct at an alarming rate, with some estimates saying a few dozen species vanish every day. One of the species we came to terms with losing in 1983 was the Lord Howe Island Stick Insect. This was when it was officially declared extinct, though no one had seen one since about 1920. The bugs were discovered in 1918 with a shipwreck on the very tiny, mostly desolate island. Rats from the ship are believed to have invaded and eventually killed off the native insect population, and that, as they say, was that. Despite their apparent extinction, in 2001, some of the insects were rediscovered on a tiny little volcanic outcropping called Ball's Pyramid, 23 kilometers off the coast of the main island. The island has barely any vegetation on it at all, but what it does have turned out to be a habitat for the bugs. They identified just 24 of them. One breeding pair was rescued and taken to Australia. From there, 13,000 eggs were harvested, and now a breeding program has been set up in zoos around the world. Number 6. Glass Sponge Reefs the world below the waves is still a mystery, and every day we discover new creatures that live in the ocean's depths. By that same token, we lose many species as well. One thing we thought was long since dead is the glass sponge. These sponges are known to build reefs, growing to nearly 46 centimeters tall, and the reefs they create become habitats for all kinds of fish and other marine species. 
They use silica dissolved in the seawater to build delicate skeleton-like structures, which is where the glass name comes from. Obviously, this is a good thing for the ecosystem, and the sponges are a species worthy of protection. That's ironic, of course, because up until recently, they were thought to be extinct, and not just a little extinct either. It was believed they had died off about 100 million years ago. Their remains, called mummies, are well known, and a 2,900 kilometer reef of ancient glass sponges stretches from Spain to Romania. In 1987, off the coast of BC and Canada, new reefs of living sponges were discovered, proving the ancient species had not vanished as once thought. They were just deeper than anyone expected them to be. Congratulations, you've won 18 million US dollars. At least that's what that pop-up on your internet browser keeps telling you. Am I right? And if you click on it, well, malware is probably going to get embedded in your computer and then sell your information to a third party, which is brilliant. No 18 million dollars in sight. Fortunately, you probably know that these pop-ups are a scam. But what about your parents? What about your grandparents? Yes, there are a lot of people out there on the internet, not all of them super tech savvy. Fortunately, today's video is sponsored by NordVPN, which is helping to give internet users all the tricks and tools of a proper 21st century online experience. You may have heard me talk about NordVPN before and what it can do for you. Encrypt your internet data, move your online activity to another location with just one click for either superior security or more streaming options. And all of that's still true. NordVPN has thousands of servers in dozens of countries. But VPNs give you access to so many more options than just new TV shows. With NordVPN, you really can do it all, and that includes utilizing their threat protection upgrade, which blocks ads, eradicates web trackers, checks for malware, and more. Because of this, NordVPN makes a great holiday gift for any not-so-computer-savvy family members in your life. Right now, as part of a unique sponsorship deal, you guys can get a two-year plan at a huge discount, plus an additional four months for free. And if you try Nord and change your mind, they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. All you got to do is go to nordvpn.com slash top tens, and as part of a special Christmas deal, you'll get their two-year plan and four free months with a huge discount. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash top tens to get that special Christmas deal. And now back to today's video. Number 5. Randy Bachman's Missing Guitar Randy Bachman was famous for his work in 1970s rock bands Bachman Turner Overdrive and The Guess Who. His most famous songs include Take a Care of Business and American Woman. He wrote that last one on a 1957 Gretsch guitar that he bought as a teen and was basically his signature instrument. He learned how to play guitar using it and he played it all the time. Until 1977 when someone stole it from a hotel room. Bachman said that he was remarkably possessive of the instrument. He slept with it and he had chained it to the hotel toilet so no one could steal it. But but it was the day that his road manager took it just long enough to check it out of their hotel and then pick up the bands that someone managed to steal it for real. For decades, Bagman lamented the loss and was hopeful that he'd find it again one day. In 2020, a fan named William Long, who'd heard about the loss in a YouTube video, figured he could help out with his own skills as an investigator. Remarkably, after learning the guitar inside and out and scouring the internet for images, Long discovered the guitar in Japan, where a musician named Takeshi had bought it in 2016. He had no idea it had been stolen, but agreed to trade Bachman for another one. In the summer of 2022, at the Canadian Embassy in Japan, Bachman met with Takeshi and traded him another guitar for the stolen one. He went out of his way to find a nearly identical guitar, in fact, made the same week and with a nearly identical serial number. Number 4. The car discovered after 20 years Imagine how frustrated and angry you'd feel if you discovered someone had stolen your car. That happened in 1997 to a man in Frankfurt, Germany. He parked in a garage, went about his day, and came back to find the car missing. Twenty years went by, and then the garage was set to be torn down, but the owners had one small snag. There was a car still parked in it. And it was that man's car. Turns out the man had just forgotten where he parked. For 20 years, his car hadn't moved at all, and so he discovered exactly where he'd left it all those years ago. By that time, it was rusted out and immobile, but definitely not stolen. Number 3. The Glowing Wounds of Civil War Soldiers A lot of crazy things can happen in war, but you rarely expect to hear about wounds glowing blue and healing faster than normal, at least not outside of science fiction. But that happened at the Civil War Battle of Shiloh, and for years it remained a mystery. The massive battle saw 40,000 Confederate soldiers square off against the Union, with as many as 16,000 casualties. As the wounded waited for up to two days in the mud for treatment, some began to glow blue at night. It was noted that those who did glow had a better survival rate. It wasn't until 2001 that a non-supernatural explanation was discovered. A 
bioluminescent bacterium called Photohabdus luminescens that lives in soil, which inhibits pathogen growth by secreting an antibiotic compound, could have been growing in the wounds and inadvertently saving the lives of the soldiers. Number 2. Twins accidentally swapped at birth About 1 in 250 natural pregnancies result in twins. Fraternal twins are far more common than identical twins, and about two-thirds of those pregnant with twins will have fraternal twins. So there's not necessarily any reason to be shocked if you have twins and they don't look alike. Certainly in 1974 in the Canary Islands, when twins Begona and Delia were born, their mother wouldn't have been suspicious. It would be 28 years before anyone realized that there was a third baby at the hospital that day. A girl named Beatriz was accidentally swapped for Delia, and the two sisters, who were identical, were now believed to be just fraternal, since of course Beatriz didn't look like her sister. The woman only found out when a friend of one of the twins met the other, got confused, and arranged a meeting. A DNA test soon followed, and the twins realized the truth of what had happened. Despite that, they were reluctant to share the news. Their biological mother learned first, but the mother who raised Delia wasn't told for almost nine years, and she didn't take it well. Number 1. Relocating Bouvet Island You may have heard that buying land is a good investment because no one's making any more of it. And that's mostly true, but it doesn't mean you can't still discover land every once in a while. Sometimes it just gets lost and it needs to be refound, which is what happened to Bouvet Island. Bouvet Island is the most remote place in the world, and 1,750 kilometers from Antarctica, its closest neighbor, and it's an island that no one would or should ever want to visit. It was discovered in 1739 and consists of rock and ice and a handful of penguins. Plus, it's where Alien vs. Predator was set. Explorer Jean-Baptiste Bouvet de Logier discovered it on an Antarctic expedition mission and then promptly mislabeled it on a map such that it went missing again for another 69 years because no one knew how to find it. When it was finally rediscovered, it was hundreds of kilometers from where Bouvet recorded it, so no one was even sure it was the same place. It wasn't until 1898 when it finally had a fixed location on maps.